we're getting the first uh, indication of the result of the Mongolian election. It seems to show that the Democratic Party has done well. Projections show that it may have won at least 23 seats out of a possible 48. The election dominated by uh, Mongolia's huge mineral resources and an increasing course for the redistribution of some of that wealth to the populace. Well, let's get uh, analysis of the election and investment ideas from Travis Hamilton, Travis is Managing Director and Founder of Khan Investment Management, focusing on the Mongolian stocks via your Khan Mongolia Equity Fund. Travis, thanks for joining as well. How important is this election in the grand scheme of things? Uh, Richard, these elections, or the importance of these elections rather, cannot be understated at all. After almost 700 years of uh, occupation and then oppression, and then only just over 20 years after disbanding their one-party socialist system, uh, the country is finally on the precipice of achieving financial independence. The economy is experiencing phenomenal growth at the moment, in fact growth not experienced by Mongolians since the last of the Great Khans. Uh, very shortly it's expected that the country will have uh, the capacity, or the likely capacity rather, to affect global coal prices and uh, will be one of the largest copper exporters uh, in the world. So the policies and framework put in place over the current or, or this coming four-year term of whichever government is elected uh, after yeah. yesterday's uh, election uh, is pivotal to, um, to the ongoing growth of, uh, of the economy. Travis, I haven't got much time, but very quickly, what about the recent falls that we've seen on, on the stock exchange? It was one of the best performing ones in the world. That's true. Look, there, there have been some uh, slightly negative movements on the local stock exchange. Unfortunately, from our perspective, uh, Mongolian stocks listed on international exchanges have suffered uh, extremely poorly, but I would say that's simply been in line with global equity markets and the sell-off across the resource sector as a whole. I uh, give it, uh, does the, uh, whoever wins this uh, election, does it change the way that uh, the uh, investment climate will go? Not from my perspective. As a foreign investor focused very much on uh, participating in the Mongolian growth story, we don't see any significant policy shift regardless of who wins this election, whether it's the Democratic Party or the Mongolian People's Party. Fortunately, over the last two terms, the government has been a coalition of both of the major parties. So all uh, policy and, and legislation that has been put in place has been done so on a consultative basis. And uh, it's even possible uh, that we're likely to see uh, another uh, coalition uh, ruling for the next four-year term. So uh, we expect that um, we're not going to see any significant policy shifts. The Travis, economy, uh, or the country rather, remain... Yes? We're just out of time, I'm afraid, but thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Travis Hamilton there from Khan Investment Management. That's it. For Asia Edge next, Susan and I will be recapping the day's top stories.